Bună dimineața și bun găsit la BIU! Sunt Sabina Iosup și vă invit să rămâneți alături de mine în următoarea jumătate de oră să discutăm despre bugetul Uniunii Europene cu invitați importanți. Today here with me in the European Parliament in Brussels are Fabian Keller, thank you so much for your presence. Hello. And Moritz Corner, thank you so much for your presence. Hello. We have to understand together how um, the um, EU budget uh, has been constructed for uh, for the next period. What are the main priorities and um, what should a member state uh, do, like uh, Romania, France or, or uh, Germany? Please. Uh, some policies are very important for all uh, our member states. For example, the policies for environment or for the health after the COVID period. It's a high priority. Since uh, we had the, this crisis, we also decided to build together a recovery plan. We are following also the priorities of this plan, that is to help our industry, our economic sector, to recover and create uh, um, uh, good uh, uh, methods and capacity to be sovereign and not so dependent of Asian countries. Uh, we saw how imports can be difficult in a crisis situation. So we have several items in the budget that are of a high priority, but of course they are competing one with the others. So we take months to discuss which amount with, with the Commission in a situation where with inflation it's harder to find uh, money. We have inflation, we have energy crisis, we have had the, the pandemic crisis, we have the war, we have a lot of crises that are put one uh, on, top of, on top of the other and that is the main issue actually. That is a very difficult uh, situation we are living in with lots of uh, crises, with inflation, which is of course a problem for uh, public finances and it was very difficult to find a good result together and our rapporteur Nikolai Stefanuta really was tough in bringing the priorities together and I want to add to what um, uh, Fabienne said. I think it's very important also to invest in these times in digital, in, in young people, in Erasmus, a very important program of course and it's always at the heart of the European Parliament also in these difficult times. Is it possible having this um, uh, new um, construction of, uh, of uh, the European budget to, to see uh, that the European Union is actually tackling all these crises? Yes, of course, it's important because to, together we are stronger. And so, for example, the energy prices is touching all the member states, but some more than others. And so there are not only uh, price uh, maximum for the gas, interventions to help uh, poor people, but also specific policies for countries who are more dependent of the Russian gas or the coal, because we have at the same time to manage the short-term crisis, mm -hmm. but also uh, invest to uh, be more protective of environment and as you said Nico is doing a great job in terms of trying to fit all those priorities together. Looking at uh, our countries, uh, there, there are so many differences. So, for example, the uh, dependency of um, Germany uh, from um, Russian gas is huge as compared to, to Romania's. Also, when looking at, uh, at France, we can uh, see um, uh, the dependency in terms of coal being smaller than Romania's. So how can you think of, of, um, uh, of a method to, to cover everything, actually? I think we are stronger together, that mm -hmm. is important, uh, and we see that we have to be united in the face mm -hmm. of Russia's aggression. I think that is most important, that we have a clear European position. And then, of course, there are also member states and they are also different, and of course they also do uh, everything to protect their citizens, but we have to do it in a strategic way. And when we talk about energy, we have a European energy market, so we need to be coordinated, and that's what we're trying uh, to do also with the budget we're trying to use now the recovery fund also some of the money to invest in new energy infrastructure to help member states 
uh, cope with this new situation and I, I think that's very important. So we need the member states to do things, but we need to also the European level to work together to solve the problems, to really make sure that the citizens are not alone in this crisis. Together with Mr. Stefanuza, I will uh, analyze um, uh, from Romania's point of view uh, the budget. Let's uh, look from France's point of view. What is the most important uh, for France uh, in uh, regarding the, the next budget? Um, all the subjects mm -hmm. are important. Sure. But what is important that is that this budget, as Nico Stefanuta mm -hmm. did it, is built in a European spirit. We are building on the strength of different countries. Uh, some are better in some areas, and this gives more strength uh, globally. So when uh, the economy, for example, or the labor force is in good shape in other countries, it's important also for France, because we are in a common market. We have free movements. Our students are learning together. So we have, of course, uh, uh, we put a lot of stress on the recovery plan to help uh, all our countries after the COVID crisis. The energy management is very important. We have to continue to invest in this common market of energy. The education is very central and Erasmus programs are increased. And this was really Nico Stefanota, Mark on the budget, mm -hmm. he insisted a lot on that, even uh, though money is rare. So France loves when Europe has ambition strategy and common view of the future. Let's look from the Germany's point of view to the budget. I think it's important that we have a lot of innovation in the budget. Mm -hmm. uh, we are funding Horizon, our big you know, uh, innovation program. Um, and it's important because we have to make sure dealing with all the crisis right now, and we are doing that. We also have to make sure where you know, are the new possibilities, where are new economies and where is Europe strong? We should not be, you know, looking behind but looking in the future and I think this budget is doing that and delivering that. But maybe I want to add something that is very important for our group Renew Europe, for the Liberals in the, in the Parliament. It is the rule of law. We are very determined to, to fight for the rule of law to tackle corruption and that's why we put so much effort into strengthen EPO, the European Public Prosecutor's Office, because it's a very good investment. It brings back the money because it's tackling fraud and corruption in Europe and I think that was a big a priority for us too. And maybe we will see some actions in the near future because until now uh, the, uh, the EPPO was uh, just built. Uh, yes. and and or just started uh, the, the actions. What are the risks? I know it's very difficult to talk about risks in, in the future when we've seen what we've seen till now, pandemic, energy crisis, and uh, war, of course. But what are, if you're looking at the, at the budget, at the, the budget for the next period, 2020, um, um, 2027, what are, what are actually uh, the, the most important risks, uh, let's say? Um, the risk is the loss of... Uh, common will to find solution together. Mm -hmm. And we see that, for example, with Hungary. Uh, Maurice just said how important it is to be sure that a state is managed in a democratic way. Uh, for example, we decided all together to have sanctions against Russia. Hungary does not apply the, the embargo against uh, gas and is helped by Russia. This is not possible in a common uh, space. We can handle all crises if we are together. This is what we did with the COVID. That's marvelous to have found together the vaccine and being able to produce it at, in such a scale that everybody could be protected by this vaccine. Same for the, uh, the war. In this war situation, one country could never have alone the right answer. But we discuss, we find the common strategy, and then we construct it together. So for me, the biggest risk for the future is not to have this common uh, spirit, European spirit anymore. And that's the risk with the Hungary, Poland, but also after the Italian elections and the Swedish government with the extreme right as a part of government. Taking this into consideration, is now the European Union more or less united? 
I think we saw a lot of unity when it came to the ag aggression, uh, the Russian aggression. Uh, but of course, we have to struggle for unity in the European Union. It's always a fight. There's always crises and problems and difficulties, but we also manage to do it. Uh, uh, we have to say how strong European Union is there. I see the biggest uh, um, problem or the biggest risk in the upcoming even stronger inflation and in the risk of the economy um, that it's going down. So we have to make sure that we bring down inflation, that people don't suffer from inflation and a weak uh, economic outlook. That's what we have to tackle together and European unity is also key to that. In the end of our discussion, please share your message to, to the Romanian public. We have a large Romanian delegation in our group, in the Renew group, and it's a great joy to discuss with them. I went several times with my colleagues in Romania. Last time with Vlad de George, we visited Moldavia mm -hmm. and uh, Ukraine on the subject of refugees. I went with uh, Ramona Strugariu to uh, encourage uh, Romanian women to get engaged in uh, politics. I work a lot with Niku Stefanuta and Dacian Siolos also. It's a very friendly and uh, we feel very close to the Romanian uh, delegation. And your message? I think uh, Romania is at the heart of the European Union. Uh, we are very much looking forward to working together. As Fabienne already uh, told us, lots of colleagues uh, uh, from, the re from, from Romania are working in our delegation. And uh, this budget uh, is really a Romanian uh, budget. It is uh, built by our rapporteur Nicolae Stefanuta, and we're very proud of his really strong word, uh, work there. Uh, and I think uh, Romania can also be proud too. So don't blame us uh, if something uh, is going to, to uh, go wrong uh, in the near future. <laughs> it was, it <laughs> no. was just a joke in uh, the end of our discussion. Thank you so much for Thank your you. presence and for uh, sharing all the information. We will focus now on Romania.